Want to go to the movies? Yes, let's yes, do that. Yes. Okay, this, this movie came out. Uh, Edward Norton, he directs it, he stars in it, he helped write it. It's based on a book that was written back in the 90s. So you'd think the, book, the movie would be about the 90s, but it's not. It's about the 50s, and it's one of those noir kind of detective things. You know, okay. the detective, you find out who done it and all that kind of stuff. It's really very cool. Let's take a look at Motherless Brooklyn. I got something wrong with me. That's the first thing to know. I got threads in my head. I got threads in my head, man. I twitch and shout a lot. <laughs> Makes me look like a damn freak show. Can't you ever I'm cut that out? I'm sorry. Touch it, Bailey. I'm sorry. But inside my head... Okay, here we go. It's one of those great old-time detective kind of things. To me, it feels like one of those movies you saw from the 30s or 40s, but this takes place in the 50s, which to me doesn't seem that long ago, but, <laughs> but, but I guess it's not. But Edward Norton is a detective. He's a really bright guy, but he's got Tourette, so you know, a lot of people underestimate him. Okay. Bruce Willis is his best buddy, his friend. Something happens to him, and he wants to solve this, this murder, this crime. This movie reminded me a little bit of like Usual Suspects, or one of those okay. really great movies, you know, where you really don't know what's going on for the entire movie, and you sort of fall in love with all the characters, and it's really terrific. So I got a chance to talk to Edward Norton. So cool. And the way I was going to do this, you know, you see these interviews all the time, but this one, I'm going to get a feel of what it's like when I, you walk in a room, you meet the guy for half a second, and then you just start talking about the movie. We can see from your viewpoint yeah. what happens from start to finish. Right, yeah. Okay. So, so we started this interview. Where, before we got started, we were talking about... Uh, Paul times on the racetrack. <clears throat> my buddy's, my, one of my partners grew up in Cleveland and he's like Newman Sporting Goods. Oh, that's right. Hi, Nina. Just say your name, please. David Moss, Fox 8. Great. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Fire you're, away. You're good, man. I got to tell you something. Best movie I've seen in a long, long time. Wow, thanks. Great. I remember compliment. when I saw Usual Suspects. Remember when you saw that? Of course. How much did you like that when you walked out of that one? Uh, great. And you were in the dark the whole way. Yeah, that's how this is. Yeah. Yeah, this is really a special movie. And to, to write it, direct it, and star in it, what was the most difficult part for you? Um, the overlay of, of directing it while you're acting in it. Not so much that <clears throat> um, I trust my director, me. <laughs> like, that part's okay. Uh, I, we have a very efficient conversation with each other. Uh, but actors, actors rely on each other. You know, it's, we're sitting here right now. We're having a conversation. We're ignoring mm -hmm. mics and lights and okay. people and all these things. But, and that's, actors do that, like, to the 10th power, right? Like, yeah. you, you create a suspended bubble in which you're pretending that you're together in this imagined world, right? And when one of you is, is going, that was terrific, excuse me, um, <laughs> while I go and, you know, Put on my other hat, and I'll, and I'll be right back. It, it's, it's. I, my biggest anxiety was deteriorating the quality yeah. of the focus between me and other actors, who I, who are ones I like, love, yeah. and revere. And, um, but in some ways, they're the, they, they were my solution because, I, I, I really, you know, Willem Dafoe and Alec Baldwin and Cherry Jones and Michael K. Williams and Bobby, these, Bobby Cannavale, like I. These are theater-trained actors, this wonderful new British actress, Gugu and Raw. Yeah. Also a stage-trained, classically-trained actress. Like, I needed people who I knew were coming um, prepared and to kind of knock me out, yeah. you know, and I knew would need me, need my guidance, like, very little. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm like one of the rare directors who was turning to the actors and going, how was I? How was I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love um, that. And this, this palette of characters you have, too. I mean, there's like, you know, there's a certain delicate thing about Willem, you know? Mm. There's explosiveness about Alec Baldwin. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's all these different colors in this thing. And what I thought was really great about it was, even though it seems like it's a movie set in the 50s, which doesn't seem that long ago to me, <laughs> the 50s, it's really very now, isn't it? Yeah, I hope so. I'm, um, I mean... First and foremost, I, I, I always think that you have to have a human connection with a central character. Like if you, Lionel is more like the kind of char the relationship you have with like Forrest Gump or yeah. or or Goodwill, you know, yeah. Will Hunting and Goodwill Hunting, where you say this this guy's behind the eighth ball. He's got he's got something. He's got a challenge in life that in two minutes into the movie. I'm going, I'm on your side, man. You I mean, want to embrace yeah, him. Yeah, I'm on your side. And by the way, you work for Bruce Willis, and Bruce Willis says you're his ace. I, I'm with, I, I like Bruce, I like you. You're so my guy. Great. You know, and if you've got that kind of a hook, you can take people yeah. in a lot of places, right? So, 
And if you and I think we all like to root for an underdog. Yeah. It makes us. It reminds us of like the who that we want to be that kind of person, right? Yeah. That's when it sort of becomes. You said a usual suspects. I. Yeah. I loved L.A. Confidential. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know those movies that they're not. They flick a switch in the brain, and you go, I don't exactly know what's going on here, but I don't, I don't care. I'm so into this. I'm so happy to be in here with this music and yeah. the, 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 the authenticity of the way things look and the actors who seem grounded and they're taking it seriously. There's no wink, wink. Um, I, get, I, I always get like really happily lost in yeah. those movies. I'm like eating my popcorn and just like wondering that, that what's it, coming man. next, you know? Yeah, thank you. It was a great ride and I love the music that was playing during the ride. Yeah, thank you. Fantastic, man. Thanks. Great. The time goes fast. Time does go fast. I, how many of those have you done? And you probably sometimes get, you get explanations from people, yeah. but he, you could see his passion. He's yeah. so in love with this film and what he's created. He let you inside his head. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like teaching a class. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It yeah. Was, that's why I thought it would be fun to watch the whole thing. And I want to thank uh, John Ackerman, our director, who edited that. And he put the pictures together with that so you could understand what he was talking about. You know, you nice get all job, this activity John. around you and, you know, you're inside this character. And you're, he's, he's trying to make his dream come true. You know, he wrote it. He directed it. He Start in it. That's a that's lot. That's a lot. Of, there's a lot on your plate. I don't think a lot of actors would take the risk to yeah. do that and direct the same thing they star in because they're so into their characters. They have to be yeah. so into it. He he's gonna be up for some awards. I bet. I and like both when he said, "What do you say? Uh, well, you don't know what's going on, but you, but don't, you, you care. don't care because yeah. you're so in it." Yeah. You, you, can relate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that opens a week from tomorrow. So you're going to want to check that out. Mothers Brooklyn. It's. A, I think it's. You know, all it's ages good. are going to enjoy this thing, and uh, especially some of the movie audiences that don't go to the movies a lot, that are a little older, they'll really appreciate this movie. It's really good.